Hey there, everybody, gamers and fellow gamers alike. How's everybody doing today? Thanks so much for checking out the video. Uh, we're going to reach deep into the comments of the bag. Restart the episode. Restart. Okay, three, two... What is up, fellow gamers? Here we go with another Binding of Isaac Afterbirth episode. And we are going to reach deep into the comment of the day bag. Here we go. Reaching in and we are pulling out the comment of the day. Let's see what it is. Uh, it is from Caleb and he says, Hey, Jay, you should do all the interesting or entertaining plays while the streak is young. When it gets above a certain number, you should really play more cautiously so you can focus on beating your record. That's a great point, Caleb. That's a great point, and I'm going to heed your advice. I like it. But what I could also do is now, if I take an item that's a little bit riskier, I could just say, Caleb told me to. And if we lose the small infant streak here, that is on you, my friend. But speaking of a small streak, we are going to try to turn a two into a three, and we start with Brimstone. <laughs> okay, talk about interesting, huh? Well, well, this is a win. <laughs> we do have Suicide King in our hand, so I really don't want to accidentally play that. This is a very interesting room here. Our tier 8 seems okay. We got Swallowed Penny. I'm very, very, very nervous to accidentally hit Suicide King, so I might just drop it. Um, let's see what it says. Instantly kills you and spawns 10 pickup collectibles on the floor. I'm pretty sure you could do that in the deal with the devil and get more items from it. Obviously, you need something that respawns you. A gray chest? A freaking gray chest from a tinted rock? That's lame as hell, dude. Um, all right. Well, you know. You, know, you guys know how I feel about Brimstone. You guys know. But we got a lot of things to get to anyway. What do I got to get to? Um, The poll from last episode. The poll from last episode shows exactly what I thought. We could have died there, by the way. Uh, That the number one best Girl Scout cookie period is Thin Mints. It just is. And number two has shaken out to be Samoas, which you love to see. And number three, I think, was Peanut Butter Patties, which I, I, I probably would agree with. I probably would agree with the, that top three that the uh, the thing showed. And then a lot of EU folk was like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't even know what a Girl Scout cookie is. Uh, so I apologize about my ignorance uh, and assuming just everybody knew what Girl Scout cookies is. Um, there's a thing called Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, which is like basically a glorified camp that parents spend a lot of money on and you learn how to tie knots and shit i was in the boy scouts it was um it was uh i guess cool uh, i don't really remember too much other than like getting a pin with like a tiger on it and being like this shit's cool uh i don't really know what i did to earn the pin but it was like one of those things and then uh the girl scouts i'm pretty sure the boy scouts sold popcorn and the Girl Scouts sold cookies. And the Girl Scouts had their own bakery that baked the cookies. And they got really popular. And uh, there was this exclusivity tied to it where it was only like the Girl Scout cookies only sell between these months. And you could see them like outside the grocery store. Or if you had family members or friends that had, you know, a Girl Scout, you could get the cookies from them. But it had this alluring pull of like, you know, you could only get them a certain time. But they're pretty much overpriced cookies at this point that just uh, are living off the popularity that they that they got in like the mid 90s, pretty much. But they are good. They are good. But are they good for five dollars a box? The fact that they've gotten like smaller over the years? No, not really. <laughs> as far as like a value proposition goes. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's always a nice nice topic especially this time of year when girl scout cookies are running rampant um and then the other thing we have to get to is uh the mac and cheese was amazing if you go to yesterday's episode and you go in the description i posted the recipe if you guys want to make it it came out really really good if i had to suggest anything i would suggest maybe some more um milk or even throw some heavy cream in there just because i think it should have been a little bit creamier 
and I would say a little bit more salt. I always, I always hold back on the salt when I'm cooking with Parmesan cheese because Parmesan cheese is so damn salty. Uh, we could take forget me now. We're just not using red candle pretty much at all for obvious reasons. But yeah, I always dial back the salt when I use Parmesan cheese, but that's what I did. And I think it needed a little more salt. So I would say, uh, you know, a little more cream, a little more milk, a little more salt, and it would would have been perfect. But I think the three cheese blend was really good. But yeah, check out the last episode for the recipe if you want to cook it yourself. Okay, we have a pill that's unknown. The shop is somewhat viable. I might just go in here, see if they have a soul heart. They don't, but there is a champion's belt, which I would like to get. And we only needed one bomb for it, which is amazing. That is amazing. Uh, we'll do our full dual diligence here and run back here and check it all out. Um, what else is there to get to? We talked about a lot in the last episode. I'm just making sure I'm, I'm caught up on everything. Girl Scout cookies, mac and cheese. I think that was it. There was, I think there was something else. Uh, but... Brain trying to work, trying to piece together things, and it's not happening. It's just a lot of things going on with, like, and I know I said this in the previous episode with the coronavirus is, is, uh, you know in my state of New Jersey, in the United States of whatever. Uh, we got a curfew now. We can't go out past a certain time because I guess Corona's only contagious past 9 p.m. Keck W. Guy that says Twitch emotes in real life, by the way. Uh, Kappa lol. Um, yeah, there's curfew. We can't go to the movies anymore. The bars are, like, done, which is happening around the country. Um, and also, you know, globally, but I don't know, man. It's a crazy time. It's a crazy time to be alive. This is a one-for-one -one swap here, so we're going to do that. And then the Book of the Dead is pretty dang good. But I think we do this. And then we do this, and then we take this, and then we take this, and we take not that. But, huh. This is very interesting. What if we take this? We're going to die. We're going to come back. That wasn't worth it. Ah, ha, ha. Um, it's not really going to matter in the grand scheme of things, but what my idea was to, uh, forget me now, forget me not, but you know, it is what it is. I'll take the book of the dead. It's a really good defensive item and I'm happy to have it, especially sack dagger is very good, uh, you know, offensively, but also could work for you defensively as it spins around you. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know exactly what my plan was there. Other than maybe dying, you, you know, using Forget Me Now. But then I would have dropped Book of the Dead anyway. Let's just say we touch Book of the Dead. One, to have it. But if we were going to die, we we're going to lose it anyway. But let's just say we wanted Bookworm. You know? I don't know exactly what Bookworm would do for Brimstone. But it was a questionable decision all around. It's, it's more boils down to... I don't think it's going to matter at all. One, we have eight lives. We have Brimstone and Sack Dagger. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be just fine. I don't think- I don't think there's anything that could really mess this run up. As everybody cheers for this run to get messed up. Uh, Cancer pretty much solidifies the fact that we're not gonna die. We're only gonna get ha hit half a heart for the rest of the time. We got some extra soul hearts on top of this. But, uh, yeah. So yeah, no more movies. The bars are closing or something at a certain time or maybe just close. I don't know. I didn't really read all the details, if I'm being completely honest. Because it doesn't really affect me as a content creator, streamer, uh, YouTube person. Because I don't leave the house really at all anyway. Kate and I did want to hit up the grocery store. I think she's on her lunch break at work right now. And she said she went to the store and it's insane. Um, we wanted to squeeze one Costco trip in before the lockdown because she is now staying home from work starting uh, tomorrow, I believe, until the 30th, the end of the month at least. 
So it's happening, guys. It's happening. The quarantine's happening. It's 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 pretty much a go for us anyway. You know, I can't really speak for everybody else. Uh, since it's different everywhere, and uh, New Jersey's not on a state like wide lockdown or anything, but personally, I think we're just gonna we're gonna hole up for a week or two, you know, try to be safe rather than sorry. But I know you guys watch these videos to not to not have to think about stuff like that, so I apologize. But it's it's a little bit. Like, I mentioned this couple episodes ago it's a little bit hard not to talk about it because it's a pandemic and it's not something like I've ever seen in my lifetime nor is it anything uh, I hope to see again in my lifetime but uh we are gonna get bookworm here for sure which we would have got anyway even if we didn't take the book of the dead we could take book of revelations here and pretty much call it GG but you know what I think we just take and we could take book of Re uh, book of Belial as well. But I think we just take Book of the Dead. <laughs> it's a little more exciting. We do have one guppy item, so I'm going to check this out. Like the hiccups all of a sudden. Got a couple more bombs because of Bomb's Curse. And uh, you can see the Bookworm being activated. So it definitely does help with Brimstone to have Bookworm. We got Amnesia, so we don't remember where we've been. One bomb for two bombs. Seems like pretty simple math to me. And, uh, yeah, we just go up and out. Oh, yeah, the other thing I was uh, I was talking about in the last episode was the streamathon, which uh, went off without a hitch. It went great. 12 hours. We played a myriad of different games, including the Binding of Isaac. Uh, with a, it's another orbital. Guppy. Damn it. Fighting of Isaac, MLB The Show we played, Call of Duty Warzone we played, and we played some more Last of Us, because I've never played The Last of Us, and last Sunday we started it, and I've been really enjoying The Last of Us, really enjoying all the games I just listed, and the stream's been really fun, and uh, if you stop by, I know there's a bunch of you, thank you guys for stopping by, and uh, yeah, it's a good time, bro, it's a good time, man. We'll be streaming again tonight, stream six days a week, as we do. Probably going to be streaming a little bit more because a lot of people are home from work. A lot of people are working from home. Quote, unquote, working from home. You know what I mean? Uh, and then, uh, you know, a lot of quarantining going on. So more people probably looking for some entertainment considering all the major sports are done. Key bum. I don't think we want key bum. We will, however, just buy this soul heart and be on our way. Awas, not a trap door. Unfortunate. One bomb for three cents doesn't interest me. It doesn't interest me much. Nah, nah, there's too many syllables in that. You don't impress me much is what I was going for. But it didn't work. It did not work. Let's let's continue to exp ah, it's really not a big point to do so. We're very powerful. We can uh, steamroll a little bit here, especially with the orbitals. And I got a little too close for comfort there, I guess. But he is going to die pretty easily. And we're going to get some HP up. We whiffed on the deal with the devil, but that's okay. No due diligence being done. But a sip of the old iced coffee is being done. So it counters. It counters it. When you don't do your due diligence, but you sip your old iced coffee... It washes it out and you're fine. You don't have to do your due diligence then. That's just the that's just the law. It's just the rule. Okay. Um Let's check out Isaac's room. It's a dirty room. Daddy mouth. Clean it up with orbit. Pretty fly. Hit me with that lead. Hit me with the lead. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Red chest? 
Give me a key. You coward. I mean, this is obviously not really worth it, considering we, um... How did I miss him? Considering we don't have any more keys. Okay, there we go. Give me a key. There you go. That's the chain reaction I was hoping for. Give me a key. Okay. Well, we'll come back. If we, have, if we get another key, we'll come back and open up that chest. I mean, we also haven't gotten our item room or anything. Shop or any of the sort, but, you know, it's okay. Very good, very good. There we go. There's all my bones back. I mean, it's just, you know, when you start with Brimstone, it's pretty much a win as long as you don't have like a terrible tier rate because I talk over and over about how you know brimstone is not an automatic win with a bad tier rate it's actually really not good when you have a bad tier rate in brimstone uh it could be very hard to pull out a win quite the opposite of an automatic win but uh yeah I, the, the tier rate was good enough and we piled on some things on top of it and we're fine like this is gonna be a win it's just a matter of time I mean, we probably shouldn't count our chickens before they hatch, but I've been counting. I've been counting. Wait, when's Easter? Is Easter going to be canceled? Shit. Rip Easter. Uh, sure? I don't know how it's going to work super well with Brimstone. Looked like it worked pretty well there there as well we do not have a key to access the shop just yet we also don't have a key to access just kidding we have it now let's just go to the shop and see what it has has blank card we will take blank card i i think there could be some interesting things that happen with blank card i mean nothing right now interesting happen with blank card but maybe down the line health down is not something you want to see but that just comes with the territory of taking unknown pills. We got a sacrifice room here. Let's go down to see what is in this final golden chest because we already fought the whole entire room, so we might as well reap our benefits. And it's Tammy's head, and that's a, a GG, and it's over. I, I'm not gonna take it. I'm going. I'm. I'm. I'm going back to the comment. I'm going back to the comment of the day. Uh, I b believe was from Caleb. Um, he said, you know, when the streak is in its infancy, take some interesting items and entertaining items. I can't take Brimstone Pant and Tammy's head. It, 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 uh, you know what I mean, bro? It's just it, every room you walk in and it just spray it down and then it's over. You clear the room in a matter of seconds. Where, where are we at? How, okay. He's got mom's con, what the heck's going on here? All right. We're looking for a card, obviously, or we're looking for like a Yara or a Perthro so we could basically get a D6 going. I don't know, something to interest this run up a little bit. So we're gonna hold on the blank card even though we don't have a card right now. Mom's Contact, very good. I knew it was a good item. I just didn't know how it would work with uh, Brimstone, and it's very, very good. Um, that is not Guppy, but we might want to take all of this and die. We might want to take all of this and die. Right? I think we just take all of it and die. Feels good, man. Feels good, man. All right. We also now have Little Brim attached. We also now have Flight with uh, Lord of the Pit. 
We are one item away from Guppy, and uh, yeah, we are gonna steamroll, but let's get Blank Card Yara. What, what do you say? Blank Card Yara, start piling up some keys. Okay, there's nothing in here. Our little brim charge is longer than our normal charge? Is that right? Maybe slightly. I don't know. Maybe there's something good in here. Relax. The mom's contact freezing the mask when he doesn't even have a heart to live. We do not have a key. We do have a key. We will go in here to buy a soul heart. Or BFF. Dang, BFF would be cool. BFF would be real cool. That would make our sack dagger bigger and it would make our little brim bigger, which would be cool. Was it necessary to take all three of those devil deals and kill ourselves and lose our HP? No, not, not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I'm just trying to make it a little more interesting, you know, maybe with some low health, maybe with playing super aggressive, maybe things like that will make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, I'm doing my best out here, you know? Okay, there's another key. I love that we haven't had Book of the Dead in so long and we still have like full bones around us. Okay, there is a tinted rock. We got the tinted rock, and that is blood bag, which we will definitely take. Give us a little bit more speed. Also, give us some more deal with the devil currency. Speaking of deal with the devil currency, blank card fool. One makes you smaller, sure. Free bomb. Another orbital in the form of a pretty fly and blank card fool is not anything to get excited about, but hey, we have a card. Don't want to take damage on that chest. We have yet to get our item room, so let's go get our item room. What is this? This is Necro too. Okay. All right. All right. So we are going to be fighting mom's foot here. Which seemed to happen pretty quick, which is understandable considering our situation. And I also didn't do full due diligence, full clearing on everything. As it's not needed. Music's intense right now. Blank card hermit. Triple shot is just going to slow our tier rate down. Um, I really don't... Uh, love it. And this is just this, this is just aggressiveness. Mom's eye wouldn't be bad. Cursed eye would be kind of bad. Uh, dead tooth wouldn't be that exciting. This is just pure aggressiveness. We'll just try to see if we can get the best item possible. And little gish is not it, but he is the last item. Blank card hermit is more exciting than blank card fool. Not by much, but by a little is indeed a secret room and there's really nothing here we will do this just in case of a uh, random magic mush but no luck i'm gonna hold on to one bomb here we can go get bff and be out of here what do you say i mean compass would be good too don't get me wrong but this will buff up our little brim and now our little gish as well it'll buff it up a little bit and like i said the ball of bandages and sack dagger will also get bigger and we will uh, go fight mom with hopefully a deal with the devil, but actually probably not considering we only have a 36% chance, which I thought was going to be better. I'm trying to conserve my bones here, so I don't want to run into her, her leg and destroy them all. And yes, unfortunately, no deal with the devil there, but down to the womb we go and we do have the blank card hermit that we will pop just to see where we land and hopefully it's a better 
spot than uh, the beginning of the map. We definitely have Max pretty fly now, right? Well, definitely now. <laughs> all right, blank card hermit. Let's see where we end up. We did not end up very far at all. Two rooms away from the starting room. It's pretty bad. And, uh, you know, our brimstone's pretty strong. Especially when we get the double shot and the little brim in there. But if I had to say, just shooting a normal brimstone shot. Just one brimstone without bookworm and out without little brim. BFF little brim, that is. It's not great. It's definitely not great. That's what'll happen with a 4.7 damage stat, I guess. But we need not worry. If it was if it was red chest, I would I would do it, but it's not. Unfortunately, Tinted Rock did not do anything for us. Do have a curse room? I think it's a little too risky. We will take one full heart of damage unless we go in and we hermit card out. Mm, yeah, I think that was worth it. I mean, we got three black hearts. And the Hermit card actually brought us directly outside of the curse room, which is interesting. I think that was just a random chance of that happening, but it was pretty nice, nevertheless. Still looking for a rune, still looking for anything more exciting than blank card Hermit. Obviously. Oh, there it is. Blank card, Yara. Well, we need keys now. We need keys. Wasn't there a room, a challenge room with a gray chest or something? We should probably do that. Let's just go. We're just going to full explore at this point because now we just want as many keys as possible. We don't even know what this pill is, even though we've taken a, which feels like a ton of pills. I got hit by it. Bombs are key. That is a tragedy. That is a goddamn tragedy. Rest in peace to our six keys. We will miss you very much. Eternal heart just chilling. Do our poo diligence here. Ooh. Ooh. Couple of coins. Let's see. Gray chest? Keys. At least one key. That's good. It's a real shame. Hopefully we get bombs or key again. We could Yara some keys though. We should probably have yara that key. That was a mistake. That was a big mistake. If we get a key drop here, we will Yara it. Especially with the uh, half stole heart in here. Come on, drop a key, drop a key, drop a key. Uh I'm gonna Yara, I'm gonna blank card Yara it anyway. Now if we get bombs or key again, we'll be in good shape. You know? All right. If we get a key drop, we will save our Yara charge for that key drop. Not a key, it's a bomb, and we full explored down here. Only place to go is up. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake not yarring that key. And it was a mistake taking the bombs or key pill, but I also didn't know at the time that it was a bombs or key pill. All right, should be one more room, yep. Super secret room? No. Not sure where it is, but we're going to get a, another orbital, I believe. Is this because we touched the Book of Revelations? We just get all these horsemen? It just never ends. So we got level three ball of bandages. Hopefully we get lump of coal here. 
We do not. And we get the head of the Krampus. All right. Well, that's that. Let's go down, sip of the old iced coffee. And here we go. Scarred Womb 2. Again, if we find a key, please, God, just blank card Yerit. Hey. That's a good start, man. The fact that it was on the first room, that's really good. We're going to be able to make that into a decent amount of keys, hopefully. Especially if we find a battery, it'll, it'll help us out immensely. This should full charge our blank card Yera. Indeed it did. Let's go up and hit the key room. Okay, now we got four. Next time we'll make it eight. I don't know how many keys we should go for. That's, that, is, that is the question. Butter. Hematemesis. All right, the arcade didn't really do much for us at all. Oh, do not pick up the keys. Holy crap, that was close. More hands. I love that we still have these bones. I thought, I, I knew it would stick around for a bit, but like I thought eventually it would start whittling away. Just by like, you know, random tears hitting us and stuff over time. And us accidentally running into enemies, but... Guess not. Okay, blank card, Yera the keys. Now we're up to eight keys. So eight keys is one Yera on the chest, essentially. And we are not... Not getting any guppy items from all these red chests, that's for sure. This looks like maybe potentially a secret room. Nope. I mean, it could be also down here, I think. It's not. Okay. Avoid the keys. Unfortunately, we can't totally avoid them, so we're going to blow them away. And uh, continue to full explore here. Try to get as many charges on the keys as we can. We also got to be careful to... We want to go down to the chest with the Yara charge. I guess. Maybe we could squeeze out one more. Unfortunately, we're going to blow a charge here. Which is not good. Champion boys that just throw these spiders should be no problem. There's a bone heart. Okay, we're going to use it one more time and then pick up all these keys. That's going to give us 16 keys. It's actually going to give us more than that because we already have three. You know what? Let's not pick them up just yet. Let's just see. You never know. We could get a battery drop. If we get a battery drop, I'm going to be sad I picked them up. It's better to have more keys than you need, you know? I don't know how many times we're going to Yara the OG chest room, but I guess it depends on how many keys we have. I'm not really looking to break the game here, so I, 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 I'm just trying to get a decent amount of items on the chest just to interest it up a little bit. I mean, it would be great if we were to get the bombs our key pill, so we could just switch back to the eight keys instead of having eight bombs. And then on top of that, pick up all the keys. So we're going to have one more charge here. I just don't know if we should use it on the keys. Hmm. We don't have Nun's Habit, right? No. Uh, look for the Super Seeker Room. Nothing doing. Oh, uh, it could be a normal Secret Room. It is. And it's going to be Odd Mushroom. Okay. Mm, I'm debating if we should do another one or not. Oh, we could have slipped through that secret room, actually, if we used another bomb. 
Uh, just double check if we can do the challenge room. I don't think we can, but I feel like we've lost some HP. Maybe not full red hearts will get us in there. Nope. Full red hearts get us in there? Nope. All right. You know what? F it. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to pick up all these keys. And we will get uh, the charges on the chest for the chests. We might not need all these keys, but I'd rather have more than less. And uh, that's going to be 36 keys. I think that's pretty good. Let's use a bomb just to make a nice little shortcut through here. We're only going to need three rooms, and we're going to double the chest. And then we could double it, what, two more times? I don't know. I don't really feel like doing math, so we're just gonna, we're gonna see what happens. Just see what happens here. All right, the cathedral, we have three charges, so let's go here. Let's charge it up here, and then we're gonna go to the big room. Wait, this is the cathedral, what am I talking about? We still got a whole goddamn floor. Hello, brain? Brain, are you okay? You okay, Chief? I mean, now the question becomes, should we just uh, duplicate more, more keys? Completely just forgot about the cathedral existing. That was really bizarre. Okay, this is for the interaction, boys. Come on. All right, we got to luck up. Uh, we might as well take that because, you know, what does it matter at this point? I mean, don't really want to use my keys willy-nilly, but you never know. There could be keys in this, and if there's keys in this... Oh, my gosh. If there's keys in that, we could have yared it a little bit. Uh, I don't really plan on full exploring this just because I don't think we really need any more keys. Speaking of keys, I should have used it. Uh, the blank card Yara before fighting this. That's okay. Doo -doo. Tearing through them. No chance. That's what you got. No chance in hell. Let's use the blank card, Yara. Probably a couple more rooms here in the cathedral anyway. We'll just pick up the key. We're not going to keep blank card Yaraing every key we find. Ouchie! First time we got hit in a long time. <laughs> that wasn't worth it. Open shops for free. Um, we'll just do this and we'll fight. Is this a full four charge? I never know. It's either a full four or a two. I think it might just be a two. Let's figure it out once and for all. I mean, it's not that big of a deal with the kind of build we have. It's uh, very easy crowd control, especially in big rooms. It actually flourishes a little bit in scenarios like this. It is a two charge indeed. We'll probably just go back and grab those. We definitely don't want to bombs our key pill now. That would not be good. Now, I, d I definitely want a charge going down, so. Okay, with how many rooms there, it looks like there is, we're going to go Yara this one more time, grab all the keys, and then try to recharge all the way up before the Isaac fight. Yara. Some extra keys. Ain't going to hurt anything. 45 keys. And, uh, yeah, I'm very interested to see where this goes in the chest. 
because brimstone you know it has its drawbacks especially when it comes to like some synergies that uh don't work per se but it also has some really really cool synergies so we could get some of those items and we'd be gucci okay there's our fight but we do have at least two rooms here i hope we fight on either of them okay all right, so we are going to be one charge short going down, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We also have to remember we could just Yara as well, so it's actually like a double if we wanted. Obviously not right off the get-go, but... Secret room? Secret room indeed, and it's a fight, so that's good. That's going to give us a full charge going down to the chest, just like that. Might as well pick up the money. You never know. We might get money equals power. And then super seeker room? Nope. All right. Get in there, bandage girl. I'm trying not to lose the bones, but it's very difficult. Yeah, the bones are pretty much gone. Mom's contact, nice. Okay, Isaac's gonna die. We are about to start multiplying the chest. Let's see what happens down here, shall we? Shall we? Start off with a blank card, Yara. Of course. This, I believe, is only a one-room charge. This and the L rooms are only a one-room, even though you think they should be a two. But they ain't. I mean, BFF and Bandage Girl is really nice. It's a nice little combo there. Bandage Girl is one of those things that speeds up the room and you don't really notice it happening. She's doing her work. She's putting in her time. She's clocking in. Okay. Was that a coin? Blank card, Yara the chest. Yet again. The thing is, I don't want to completely you know do the do the whole entire floor and don't pick up any items like you want to experience the run that you get from the items not just like do all that and then just fight blue baby with it that just doesn't seem worth it to me so we're probably gonna call it earlier than you think here on the blank card yara it'd be nice if we got a battery drop but we are not getting lucky at all on battery drops All right, let's go charge it up. We have a two-room charge. I think we're going to do it this time, and then we'll do it one more time, and then we'll call it there. And we'll open everything, or open as many things as we can, and uh, just continue to fight the chest. Because like I said, we're starting to run out of rooms. We're not even going to be able to use the build that we get. Two with diamonds. Don't mind if I do. Wait, the L room is a two charge? I think that was a two charge. I did not mean to change my appearance. Now it looks like we're just floating. We have legs, but we're flying. We could technically do it one more time. You know what I mean? Like we could do it this time. We're not going to have enough keys. So we can do it this time and then we can do it just a normal Yara. And there we go. game we don't even have close to enough keys but do have a d4 
Um, we're definitely picking up some really interesting items here that is going to make for a very interesting brimstone, I believe. I was going to say, do we have Dad's key? We can fight Mega Satan? No, doesn't seem like it. Holy shot, little chess, rainbow buddy. We had, um, we have pop, euthanasia. Again, we do have the D4, so we can hold on to that. Tech point five, I see. We got conjoined. We got pyro. The soul. Um, okay, all right, all right. Oh, Lord. I, I, oh, okay. All right. We didn't pick up euthanasia. Bucket of lard. Juicy sack. And, uh, yeah, let's see what, let's see what this run's all about. If we get, oh, we got 99 bombs. We could get a, uh, what's hap, I don't even know what's happening right now. This is a s insane run. I, I'm not even sure what's going. Like, I'm not charging. Whoa! I'm not charging my brimstone, but my hemo tears are like... are Have brimstone attached to them? I don't know. It's a very cool run, though. What the hell? Uh, we can open up three more chests. We also can, you know, D4 out of this, but this is a very cool one. Look at this. It's so sick, dude. Like the Hemo tears are spreading apart and then our Brimstone is connecting them all together. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of it. Big fan, big fan. Is there any more keys down here? We can, we can D4. Let's D4. Let's just open up one more chest to see what it is. Go back to the well one more time. It was Jawbone. Let's see what our bombs are like. Pretty normal. <laughs> All right, we're gonna D4 in here. Got the Bob transformation, very rare. Oh, we got a Tech X. We got Tech X Epicac or something. The good thing about D4ing with a battery around is if you get into a super dangerous run. Like, I don't know if we're in a dangerous run right now, but you can at least get out of it pretty quickly. Oh, wow. Jacob's Ladder, Algiz, Awaz, Burkano. Oh, we could black ruin the chest. Oh, geez. I think this is a definite one shot blue baby situation. We also have five more keys, which we're, we're pretty much getting through this. Pretty impressive. No bombs are key pill there. Look at all these. Whoa, what is with our health, dude? What the hell happened to our health? Did we did get a hematemesis? What the heck happened, dude? Weird. <laughs> they turned it all in bone hearts. I don't know. I guess it was one of the items we picked up. I think compound fracture, the one we literally just picked up not long ago. Yes. I don't know. This is a pretty good run. If we get a normal uh, natural D4 charge, which I think we will. Yeah. We can always do it one more time just because we have the safety valve of having the battery. But this is this Tech X run is insanely strong. Yeah, let's, let's D4 and see what happens. Oh my god. 
<laughs> oh god dude um all right sure we are going to get the charge i'm gonna go in there and we're just gonna roll the dice boys i heard a, se a secret room open but it's all right i'm not worried about it we're gonna roll the dice oh my god dude <laughs> holy shit that was they were like it was like uh it's like doctor oh it's come back to me this is a really dangerous run as you can see the bombs we shoot them they explode into a huge pile of poison the bob's rotten head bombs we have dr fetus which is allowing us to shoot the bombs and uh I think soy milk. Oh god, don't die! Yeah, we have soy milk. Yeah, this is insane. And look at all the freaking the the, the symbols we got, dude. Dude, this is so sick. Why did it make a fish? It made a fish out of fire. It's too much fun, dude. It's so good. Anyway, um, that's gonna do it. That was that was a really you know the brimstone start was a little slow for obvious reasons, but hey, we turned it into something fun. We we blank card yard the chest a little bit, broke the not really broke the game, but definitely uh, got really really strong and had some fun with the D four there at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, leave a like helps me out a ton. Check out the Patreon on the bottom left to join the people on the right side of the screen to support the series. Support the series by leaving a like. You crack 300 in the first 24 hours, I give you another one tomorrow. Check out the video on the top left. That's a video YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy. Also, hit the W to subscribe. Hit the bell to join the bell, boys. Turn on the notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, stay safe, stay up, and peace out.